and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three different games for Windows 10 Mobile again. And today we have the games Indie Cat 2 Adventure Saga, um, Little Girl Magic and Angry Cannon Birds. My name is Gerald. As always I've got a couple of different things there with me which are of course this Bluetooth mouse which is also, you know, to be connected to my smartphone. Um, I'm going to use my follow keyboard, which is this one. Um, in theory, I could use the Xbox One as wireless controller, which is this one. Uh, it's Bluetooth enabled too, but the problem about it is none of the games we are going to play today uh, does support it in a reasonable way, so we are not going to use this for this uh, episode. And in the end, of course, everything is empowered by my mighty Lumia 950XL, which is this one with a motion cover at the back. And of course, it has a USB-C connector at the bottom and can be connected to, uh, in general, my display dock, but it can be connected by an yeah, HDMI to USB-C cable, like I'm doing at the moment, with my TV too. And like this, you can see that I have this desktop black experience on my big screen here, but it's yeah, more or less created by my smartphone. If you want to know more about this and uh, just get a little bit of my extra information, just go to the uh, corner up there. There are a couple of other videos where I'm talking about it more in depth. And other than that, let's start with the first game. The first game we are going to have a look at is Indie Cat 2 Adventure Saga. For that, I'm going to go to my All Apps list here. Windows button in the end, and if I click on that, we can see, here it is, Indie Cat 2 Adventure Saga. It's very like, yeah, very much like uh, Indiana Jones or something. So it's, it's just a cat which is meant to be Indiana Jones in the end. Um, <coughs> yeah, sorry for that. Still have a little bit of a, of a cough in me. It's not something, I'm not really ill or something anymore, but still a little bit of a cough. But doesn't really matter because IndieCat is going to take over here. In the end, as you can see, it really looks like Indiana Jones in a cat, uh, with a cat outfit or whatever, or other, the other way around, a cat outfit for an Indiana Jones one. And uh, as you can see, He's really looking like, like Puss in Boots or something, the, the, the guy from Shrek. Um, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit using my keyboard here and the, the extra buttons on it. And as you can see, we have just one play button, nothing more to go with, uh, to here. And if I click on that, we are going to be transferred. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, we are going to be transferred to the level overview and in the end what this is all about it's it's very very nicely done so if you have a look at that this is more or less uh yeah king arthur or something or king cat i'm not sure um who is going to sit on on that kind of of table there we have some kind of a greek mouse uh greek uh, theater or something like that and a lot, a lot of different other stuff here it's really nicely done and, and nicely put together if you ask me if you want to have a look at the options go up here and there you can for instance change the language and yeah that's more or less everything that is really interesting here and as I said, I'm going to turn around to play this game just to show it to you in a better way, so I can play in a reasonable way. Um, you don't have to. In the end, it's a really very, very simple game. You already know about all this. As you can see, we have a couple of different levels here. And if I click on that, for instance, you will see this is more or less like Candy Crush. Yeah, and so as you can see, you have yeah, a typical game which is more or less to, to uh, switch around the different colors here. It's all about colors in this game. If you have a look at the diamonds and stuff like that, also a different jewelry, um, all of them are color coded as, and uh, the oils, for instance, are color coded too. And that is the important part here. So if you want to match, for instance, a couple of, uh, of oils uh, with some of the jewelry, just have a look at the color, it's going to work nicely then. But in the end, all you have to do is get three in a row, or whatever you want to call that. Um, you can have 
a couple of different power-ups which can be bought over this here or you can just use those um, yeah, combinations of, of, of jewelry and stuff like that to get everything hyped up. So for instance there are bombs and stuff like that as you can see already there is one. As you can see this one could be used and for instance this is an, a very good example if I use this you can already see I created a new one now and the next time I'm getting to more or less get the same color here to, to explode or whatever you want to call that then we are get, uh, going to activate that as you can see everything is activated now and all the different uh, stones are going to be killed and yeah as you can see we already have a couple of different oils freed and this is more or less a target so you can up, have up to three targets at the moment at least and as you can see you are getting some kind of a star uh, waiting for what you are doing and this is more or less what all the, uh, the whole game is all about it's a nice one as you can see another power up activated here so if you do that for instance you are getting all the different um, yeah stones and whatever offset same color which are going to uh, to be given to your account more or less and yeah like this the game is played it's yeah very simple if you already know something like candy crush or whatever but if you like those kind of games this is a good iteration of it i like it pretty much it's a fun one to play and yeah in the end try it out if you like it or not in the end if you like cats and you like this kind of gameplay then everything is fine with this game Okay, so let's close this game down and go to the next one. The next one is a very strange one. Um, it's called Little Girl Magic and in the end it's like a Tamagotchi or something. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I'm just going to activate it and we will have a look at it. So if you go in here, go to Little Girl Magic for instance. I'm going to turn around again. Um, you really don't have any kind of, of pressure or whatever in this game and it's very very limited uh, optical or design uh, based but whatever as you can see you have some kind of a little girl in this uh, case you can get a couple of different girls or better to say one girl but uh, of, of a different kind of uh, yeah race and stuff like that and hair, hair color and stuff like that you, you just choose one and as you can see, you've got a couple of different um, options here, settings probably, which are more or less properties of this little girl. So for instance, you have a score of 75 points at the moment with the karma level. Um, of course, the girl itself has a level, so it's going to grow up. Um, you have a mood, you have power of the girl and you have feeding time. So when was the last time you got her something to eat, for instance? And like this, you can get a couple of different things for her to just feed her and keep her alive, more or less. And if, for instance, you go up here, you can see that you <coughs> you can see that you got a couple of different options here for rooms and stuff like that. So, for instance, if you go to the bathroom, you can see you have options to get things to be bought for the bathroom. And this is true for all the different rooms here. For instance, if you go to the backyard, you get a backyard in this case. Don't ask me why they are zooming in like this, because I really don't know what that is all about. But in the end, um, you can, in the end, buy stuff for your girl. So she's going to be happy. As you can see, we got some kind of a, of a post box. Again, why is it zooming like this? I'm not sure about that, but it doesn't really matter. If you want to go back, just go back to this. And as you can see, she is happy about what we did there. Um, some kind of option here, race probably, I'm not sure which one. Mood is already happy, so she's still happy. Maybe calmer or something, I'm not sure. But in the end, now you can just feed her with yeah, something to eat and so on and so forth. She's happy with that. And um, yeah, in the end, just give her what she wants and try to keep her alive and happy. And like that, you are going to grow her up. And of course, as you can see, you can put in music, for instance. Okay, cool. So that she is happy. And 
then just go back to my home uh, part here and have a look at it. And um, what is the game about it? I think it's just a game that you're trying to to take care of her, give her what she needs and, and just yeah, raise her up. That is more or less what the game is all about. But as I mentioned before, it's a pretty strange one. Um, I can really see why people wouldn't play it and maybe somebody likes it. So I just wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to go out of this game now and we are going to have a look at the last game of this session or this episode and um, yeah that game is called Angry Cannon Birds. Um, it doesn't have much to do with the Angry Birds iteration or, or game you already are familiar with but if we go into this I really like it. It's a nice little game um, with a nice little unique uh, kind of racing factor to it. It's, it's a nice one. I will show you what this is all about. Um, it's in 3D, it takes a little bit to lot, but after that it's really a nice one where you are going to race against other birds. So you are a bird, that one in the end, and well, I'm not even sure, maybe you are that one. We, we will see, the blue one or the, just the black one in the end. And you are going to race against that other bird in yeah, a unique kind of way, I would say. So the other bird is going to fly around and you are trying to get uh, the, the bird then, or better to say, stay in front of it, um, with cannon shots, more or less. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to turn around because here you are forced to go in and, and play in a faster style of fashion. First couple of, of levels are pretty easy to play and um, there's not much to see in the settings and stuff like that, just you could mute the game if you wanted to, but everything else isn't really important. Other than that, I'm just going to uh, press on play and as you can see, we have two different modes here, the flappy mode, I'm not going to play that because flappy bird is not what we want to do, we want to have the challenge mode, so I'm going to click on that. And now as you can see, this is the level. A selection you have a couple of them and we can go for instance for the third or fourth one why not and as you can see you are the blue one the other one is going to go up and as you can see you are racing against him and as you can see uh, if you click on your mouse in this case so just a one press uh, button game in the end if I click on the mouse he's going to fly or start flying and go into those like yeah, cannon-like stuff. And what is happening here is, he is going to stay there for all the time till you are going to fire him. So it's all about timing here. And as you can see, the other bird is just flying in a normal way. And you will have to be faster than him by really getting your bird in the right position. As you can see, it's very important so you get the right angle and you get the right uh, positioning here, otherwise you're going to lose this game. And uh, it's hard enough, but not too hard if you ask me, but you will have to have a little bit of a, yeah, at least a little bit of a feeling how to get this uh, game playing. Some are rotating of those cannons, some are just there, some, the orange one, are... Oh, again died. Um, the orange ones, for instance, are automatic and there are a couple of different other ones available here. And yeah, somehow I like the game. It's a pretty nice iteration of something I haven't played too often in the end. These are the automatic ones, I'm not going to do anything here. And now you will have... Okay, worked pretty nicely and this is the end uh, one where you're going to win, so the big one at the end and of course we stayed in front of the other bird so it worked out. Go to play and then you're going to go to the next one, after that you can watch some kind of, of uh, video here and of course you get a star uh, option here or a star rating which is more or less based on how far you are ahead of the other bird. Um, it's pretty easy for the first couple of, of levels, especially if you figure the game out then, but it's getting harder because the other bird is going to fly faster and faster. And as you can see, there are a couple of different other cannons around which you will have to overcome. 
and of course everything is based on the timing here automatic ones and you're really going around here and having to play it more or less like yeah I'm, I'm not even sure it's more or less like a mini golf course or something sometimes and stuff like that it's really a nice little thing to play it's really a fun game you really have a good mood if you're playing it because all the music and the soundtrack and stuff like that is really made to make you happy and so it's not really angry birds or something it's happy birds probably but whatever I really like the game if you like it too try it out um, it's easy to play and not too hard to conquer or something so it's fun and just for everybody if you want to try it out other than that I would say we are through the episode now so thank you for watching thank you for listening if you liked the episode give it a thumbs up of course if you didn't subscribe till now the button is down below um, if you have any kind of comments questions whatever put them down below into the commentary section and other than that thank you for watching see you in the next episode Hope you have a great pre-Christmas and Christmas time and see you around. Bye. Bye.